Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at how to make a remote multiplayer game for you and your friends to play on. On this, anyone in the world could join your game if they had the link. So let's get started. As you can see, I can see my friend playing and they can move around and I can move with them. So yeah, you're going to want to start by going to my games and creating a new game because it, it will be easier to start with a new one. You're going to want to make an empty project and then you're going to want to start by creating a title for your game. So I'm going to call mine multiplayer. And you can play around with the settings. And you're going to want to change the max player to however many you want to be able to join. So I'm going to keep mine at four just now. But you can change this later. Now you're going to want to create a block which is going to be used for your ground. You can edit how it looks later on. I'm going to want to keep the default settings and just clone it. Make sure you call it ground. Next you're going to want to create another block. This is going to be for your border. So I'm just going to fill mine in black and then clone this around the entire edge of the game. Because the player won't see this. going to want to call it border next up you're going to want to create your player character for this tutorial I'm going to be using a simple block but you can change it to different characters if you want you're going to want to check movable and the rest should follow then you're going to want to change the shape to a capsule so that the friction works well. You're going to want to go into properties and change the display order to 3. Leave the forward button and go down to the multiplayer. You're going to want to change this to player. This means that there can be multiple players in one scene. Now you're going to want to go to edit and to behaviors. First of all, you're going to want to create an animation by hitting the animation tab. And you're going to want to call this select. Hit OK. And then clone your player character a bunch of times. However many colors you want him or her to be. So I'm going to clone mine nine times. And now I'm just going to fill them all in different colours. If you're doing a proper player characters, you're going to want to change this to multiple different characters. And this is just going to be randomly selected for your player when he joins the game. Now you're going to want to head in to the behavior section of your player and make sure this player is set as player 1. To start with I'm going to create a once trigger and then I'm going to go into logic and math and select random. This is going to decide what skin our player will have when the game starts. You're going to want to set the minimum value to 1 and the maximum value to however many skins you created, so my case, 9. And you're going to want to go into animation and create one of those. Join the out to go to. You're going to want to make sure that you have your animation select, set, and click OK. 
To get your player moving, you're going to want to add the behavior bundle run and jump. If you're not sure how to make a run and jump thing from scratch, go check out my other video, which will show you how to. Now you're going to want to hit OK. And then as you can see, the player can move around just like that. If I get my friends to reload their game, you can see that they spawn in and I can see them moving and they can see me moving. So yeah. Next I'm going to walk you through how to create blocks that are shared. For example, a ball, or in my case, a block of cheese. So you're going to want to create an empty game object and call this whatever you want. Then you're going to want to create the sprite. I'll just use one of Flow Labs pre-created ones. And hit OK. Then check movable and allow rotation. Then you go into properties and select multiplayer shared. This means that the player, every player can see the update. So now if I get my friend to load in again, you can see that the cheese will move on my screen when my friend moves it, and it will move on their screen when I move it. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this multiplayer video because I know a lot of people on Flow Lab have been wondering how to make a multiplayer game. So this should clear it up. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any problems with this, let me know in the comments below. See ya.